Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my own personal experience of how I broke into the modeling industry and how I got signed and how I even figured out I wanted to start modeling. First quick little story time, growing up I was always camera shy. I didn't really like when people took pictures of me. Um, I don't know, I was just shy and very very reserved. So I was still reserved to this day but not really shy. <laughs> so a lady that I actually met at the Grove with my mom, um, she asked me to shoot for her line, told me she liked my look, blah blah blah, we ended up shooting. It was camera shy throughout the whole shoot, but it was pretty cool seeing myself on the website, blah 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 blah. Still wasn't interested in modeling at the time though. And by the way, I was in 10th grade, so I was like 14 or 15 years old at the time, still in high school. Let's fast forward, I graduated high school, it's year 2016 now. I'm, I'm class of 15 by the way, and it's like February? 2016 and I'm scrolling on Instagram and I see a model casting from a pretty cool clothing line and like I went on the and I went on the Instagram page of the clothing line and I was like oh like this is pretty like aesthetically like put together like this looks cool like I think I want to be a part of another project um so the model casting had said like you know state your name your age your height and your measurements and blah 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 in 2016 I didn't really know myself when people used to ask me, like, like, tell me about yourself, I used to be like, um, my name is Aixa, um, and my name is Aixa, like, that's it. Like, I really know what to say. So, I ended up, um, sending the model casting to my friend Ash, and we talked about it, and that was actually my second shoot ever in my whole entire life. And I was like, I want to be a part of another project. And she thought it was a cool idea. And she liked their Instagram page and like what they stand for. It's a women empowerment clothing line. And it's called Cyber Girl, by the way. So Ash basically, I sent her the model casting description. And she was like, okay, like I'm going to write the um, description of yourself for you. And you can just copy and paste it and send it to her. Because at the time, because at that time well still now ash knows me better than she knows myself and by the way you guys will be seeing ash on this channel a lot because they're kind of always together kind of the only person i hang out with <laughs> that's my beach anyways i ended up um sending the email um with the description of myself my height my name my age all of the information she was basically asking for and um the deej which i'm pretty sure you guys know the dj is because i mean we shoot pretty consistently uh, she ended up actually wanting to work with me which I'm still shook till this day because I didn't even have any professional pictures to send her like I sent her freaking I think it was two selfies off my Instagram shoot was a day that I was like okay like I think I want to model because this is fun <laughs> it's it's fun seeing everything put together and it's fun seeing like the different kind of looks that you could do and I don't know it was cool so yeah, that was a shoot that started everything. Shout out to Deej NCC. So after that shoot, I still didn't do my research on how I can actually, you know, get into the modeling industry and how I can get this stuff going. Um, I was just like, I like doing this. I don't know if I want to take it seriously, but this is fun, you know? At the time, I wasn't really shooting. I think I did two shoots after that and that was it because I didn't know like how to get anything started I was also still camera shy so I wasn't really gonna like hit up other people because I didn't know what I was doing in front of the camera and then I didn't want to get like a bad name for myself oh that's the girl that asked me to shoot that doesn't know how to do shit <laughs> but I mean it's a learning experience I should have never been scared in the time machine and let's fast forward to 2017 so 2017 is the year like I was like okay like I want to take this shit serious and it started with um, a shoot that went like viral on Tumblr. Like just receiving all of that love and stuff. Like, I don't know, it gave me like motivation. And also like the talks that I had with Ash because I ended up telling her like, I kind of want to take this modeling stuff seriously. Like fast forwarding to 2017 of January, um, I had a shoot with a photographer, went great. You know, I'm still thinking like, oh, like this is really, really fun still. Um, and then I had another shoot in March of 2017. I got hit up to shoot for another shoot. Um, and after this shoot, I was like, basically like, I look good. Like, I didn't know that I could look like this on camera. Um, Avery, he's the one who actually helped me learn my angles that day, that exact day of the shoot. Um, 
and from then on of course I progressed like after that like that same day I remember going home in an uber and I was uh, like yeah like these pictures are good and I also remember missing work because at the time um, I got hired to work at CVS in Santa Monica at um, around like February of 2017 so I missed a whole entire day of work just to go shoot and have fun because I was like fuck work basically <laughs> I was like I want to do this I want to get paid for it so then I started doing my research around that time in March 2017 and basically I was like okay so I need digitals I need a portfolio I need to start reaching out to photographers on Instagram to build my portfolio and actually start taking this seriously because around this time I was just shooting with people that would hit me up and if their pictures are good I'll be like yeah sure like why not and Avery take digitals of me like a week after that shoot and then from then on I took digitals and I believe I went to my first open call which was photogenics they ended up liking me but they told me I didn't really have experience which I didn't like I didn't even honestly I didn't even have the right digitals like <sighs> It's a learning experience though. <laughs> so getting rejected from that open call, like after that, um, that like fueled my motivation. That's when I started reaching out to other creatives in LA. So after that, I ended up reaching out to a clothing line, um, which is called Shalia Studios, and I ended up shooting for them. And that day of the shoot, I learned body movement. Like from each shoot, I was progressing and progressing and progressing, getting a little more comfortable. Still hella camera shy, but I mean, little by little, you know, step by step. CC and Deej continuously, continuously missing work to go to shoots, um, just not caring about work. And then I started getting noticed by actual like industry people because as I'm posting all of these shoots, like my followers are going up, my engagement is going up, and you know, people are starting to notice me. And social media, use that as a tool definitely use that as a tool but that'll be a whole separate video how you can start modeling and how you can get signed to an agency and how you can get it together <laughs> for those who need it because it is a process the first big gig that I ever booked was in June of 2017 and that was for a little Joy Ridge thing for like the Made LA show thing and then I was noticed by um, a clothing line that DM'd me and they're called Grayscale and I ended up modeling for them. I was getting noticed by kind of like, you know, pretty big people for like a person who just started like that year, <laughs> just started taking it seriously with not that many shoots either. I'm still collabing, still collabing, still missing work. I miss, I miss work so much for shoots and networking and all of that that uh, I got fired from my job in like mid-June. <laughs> but it was worth it and I hated that job anyways. I wasn't even mad. Fired, I was honestly just like, yes, like I have more time to go to shoots because that's all I really cared about. I want to get this like together. I want to get this pop in. Like I need to stop. I'm fired from my job. I was still doing um, collab shoots. If it wasn't a collab shoot, I wasn't stepping foot outside unless I was hanging out with like Ash and that's it. Decided to go to another open call around that time and I believe it was for MSA Models which they had a commercial and print division search and I thought I'd be good for commercial and print since I don't have the height of a high fashion model. Anyways, I went to MSA Models and I ended up getting rejected by them like the day of a little later because they told me to send an email and they would tell you if you're like basically signed or not and I ended up getting rejected. They told me I'm not what they're looking for right now. So yeah, that that agency, for me getting rejected from that agency really like kind of took a toll on me because I was so eager to get signed. I was so eager to get this modeling stuff like on the roll and like, you know, gets like get serious about it and just and just like be signed and just you know get to where I wanted to be in the modeling industry or get in the industry so 
Uh, I ended up getting a little depressed and thank God for Ash because she motivated me like you're gonna get a thousand no's before you get a yes. Each no that I got was always a learning experience. We open calls though, so I didn't get too many no's. But I'm pretty sure if I would've went to the lot, I would've got no's because also I'm only 5'5 five five and my height totally like messes things up. But that's okay, because your girl is signed now. After that, I got like, you know, a motivational speech from Ash for being a good friend and she was still telling me, you know, still continue to pursue your dream of modeling. And so I did because she's a very great motivational speaker and she can, she can be very convincing. <laughs> did what I was still doing with the whole social media growth, with the whole branding myself and marketing myself. Um, like I branded myself by changing my Instagram name to Aixa Jahara before my Instagram name, before like in 2016 my Instagram name was Ista and that was just like a nickname that I had at my old high school. So I'm changing my Instagram name to my first middle name was to get my name out there as Aixa. Like, I wanted people to know my name. I, I know because since I don't have an agency, I used Instagram as a tool, as an agency, for so people could basically notice. So companies or casting directors or industry people that are looking for, you know, I was and contact me and it worked. Like, that's exactly what happened. <laughs> a, Reebok, a Reebok campaign because um, a friend of a friend of a friend <laughs> ended up finding me on Instagram. Um, I did like some other work via Instagram. I did made in Tokyo video shoot from somebody finding me on Instagram. Like, use Instagram as a tool if you're not signed. Even if you are signed, still use it as a tool. November or October of 2017, um, I shot for a vintage clothing line and a month later, like when the pictures released, um, the clothing line, so the clothing line is called Visual Unicorns and then the girl who owns it, um, her sister actually contacted me via Instagram and her sister's name is Olivia, so Olivia contacted me via Instagram. She works at Cast Partner, which is a casting company in West Hollywood and that a lot of um, models that do commercial and print work go to, like I get sent there a lot now, but with an agency. Okay, so Olivia, which is um, the clothing line's owner's sister, um, ended up DMing me from the cast partner page and explained who she was and explained, you know, that she would basically scout some models um, to come into castings at cast partner. Um, so I ended up, she ended up telling me about a shoot that they were casting models for on whatever day it was. I think this was in November, November of 2017. Um, going the day of the casting date, of course, because that was like my first big casting that I went to. Well, my that was like my second big casting that I have ever went to. Um, and the Uber driver that actually picked me up to go there was actually um, a model that was signed to Ford Models. And I figured out that he was a model because when he picked me up, um, I saw him like kind of like checking me out, but he wasn't and thank god I was nice to him like you never know who you're talking to, be nice to everyone. He ended up telling me that I have a good look for modeling and he asked me like do I model? I was like yeah like I'm headed to a casting company right now like I'm trying to, I'm trying to get this modeling stuff you know, I'm trying to get it together and he basically told me that there is an agency in LA that he was signed to that helped him get signed to four models and they were called Dragonfly. Basically like, you need to DM my old agent Katie. What's your Instagram? Well, what's her Instagram? Like, you know, like, it's good. Like, I'm trying to get the connections. Like, you know, I need to get my foot in the door. He gave me Katie's um, Instagram and he told me to DM her. I sent her a DM saying, good morning, my name is H. Star Ricketts and I was recommended to contact you by uh, Vincent for modeling slash commercial work. I'd love to work with you in the future. I'm currently independent. Um, and she said, hey, thanks for reaching out. Can you shoot me an email so I can set up a meeting with you um, at our LA office? And she sent me her email and I did end up hitting her up. And this was in 2017. And this was in December of 2017, by the way. So anyways, ended up emailing her and like, and like a month later in around
around like January 20 something, she basically told me to come into the office um, a day before. So I went there, I met her, we talked, I showed her my portfolio, um, I took digitals. The meeting went fantastic and I remember getting in an Uber on my way home and I was just like, oh my gosh, like that really just happened. Like did the meeting really just went that well or like am I like over exaggerating? So got home, sat down on the couch, reflected everything that just happened, you know, I processed everything, I told Ash about it and I cried tears of joy because I was all like I feel like I just feel it in me like my intuition is telling me like my gut is telling me like these people I think these people like me like I think there could be a possibility that I'm gonna get signed everything that was going that was happening and I was just like you know like this is this is this could be the perfect agency for me like they're close they're small I, I really wanted to get signed to an agency that was a small agency because I wanted a lot of um, one-on-one -on -one time with agents and I feel like if it's like your first, your mother agency, like your first agency, your mother agency is your first agency, if you didn't know, um, it's best to get signed with a small agency so you can get a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. I ended up getting an email around 6 p.m. that same day from Katie and she basically told me that they would like to sign me onto their LA board. And I was so happy. I remember seeing the email and I called Ash right away. She was the first person I told and I cried. And I literally cried tears of joy once again because I just, I don't know, I just knew. And I felt like all of that hard work and me being like stressed and on the verge of having mental breakdowns but I was still pushing myself and still going to these shoots and still putting so much effort into my work, into my shoots. Me like losing my job, like <laughs> everything was just worth it to get to where I am now. and. I don't know, I'm just proud of myself, but that is my story on how I got signed. I'm very grateful for everything that happened and it's played out. Like, I learned so much, like, so much from every single thing that happened. Um, and I appreciate all the word of mouth recommendations from people that, you know, were helping me get booked for shoots as well. And there's people who didn't even, like, know me. I'm, too. Like, I just thought that, that was pretty cool that so many people were supporting me. So, that's my story. I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time. Um, that I'll make a part two to this video on how you can break into the modeling industry and how you can get signed and all of that stuff. So, yeah. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. Bye. <laughs>